my friends' birthdays. When you're out working and you're a young professional, you want to mingle with people who are in the same stage of life as you. I grew up in like a predominantly white environment, and um, it wasn't very easy for me growing up. And so seeing so many Asian people, I feel a little more comfortable and a little more accepted than I did when I was a child. It's different for me because I'm from New Orleans, so I grew up with a lot of Caucasians, so it's... It used to be more comfortable for me to be with like a bunch of Caucasians as opposed to Asians. There's a nice group of mixed uh, mixed ethnicities. It's diverse, pan pan Asian. What I like is like a good mix of people, and I you know I don't like a particular you know when I go to a club and it's all like one particular type of crowd. Um, you know, personally, that doesn't really attract me. I'm surrounded by Asian people so much that I feel like the European American people are the minority. This guy comes up and says, you know, we're going out we're Thursday going out night. I'm like, Thursday. Right, here we go. I'm like, I'm not from here. I'm from Chicago. I'm an Irish cat. Like, I don't, this is kind of like, you know, I don't really do clubs. You know what I'm saying? I go to Asian parties. Why? I don't know. It's just, it's just you know, it's like, why? Something in the air, you know? I grew up, um, in a predominantly white or Caucasian town, so I feel like I kind of missed out, and so sometimes it's nice to be in an Asian club. But I like like how, um, especially at this kind of crowd, is a lot of like kind of young business people, you know. So you can network, and it's just not always partying, but and it's a cleaner crowd, so I enjoy that. And so this guy comes up, yeah, we're going out, something, oh, we'll go to a bar or something, whatever. And you know where he brings me? He brings Asian me in. Place right Asian place, right here. Night. I'm the only white guy here. But you girl, know what? Girl, All good, girl. dog. I think the Asian community is just kind of disregarded. People just don't pay attention. People are not, um, they're not aware. Uh, about Asian culture. They think we all look the same and that we're all the same. The representation of Asian Americans in the media has been really poor for a long time, but, you know, stuff's changing, like that guy on Survivor and other people coming out. I mean, you're starting to see a little bit more and more, especially like Asian American males, you would never see. We need to be on TV when we're not doing Kung Fu or, or getting files for some sort of cop. Yeah, we are subservient geisha girls, all right? Representation is always good representation as long as you're not wearing a dunce cap or you're behind a computer and you're some superhuman, you know, mad genius and stuff like that. We need to break the mold. If I was targeting high income, educated individuals, right, that are Asian American, I'd promote that mood. That definitely helps marketing. Like when they have like some kind of special, if like it's a, a special event, you know, guest star, guest host. Not a lot of people read newspapers nowadays. Everybody look at TVs or go to the clubs and whatever's being promoted in the club, that's what's most likely going to be like talked about. I think it's fun. It makes it like if they have a special night promoting, say, like at Hardy Clothing and maybe they give away like gift bags or whatever, it's always more interesting than a regular club night. It brings product awareness to like the people, the demographic group that are coming to the club. Well, it would give me brand recognition because it's like, okay, I would associate the company with this type of music, and when I when I think of them, I'm like, okay, that company promotes the type of music that I like. Um, Vanguard, they actually um, marketed um, the cell phone Helio. Yeah, so that was something that stood out to me. Let people know that they're hosting the party. They actually had people um, promote for them by like wearing t-shirts and they would give out gifts and promotions for that. I think person-to-person -person ads. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that are here at the club promoting certain different things. Other parties, maybe cigarettes such as Marble Light uh, with different types of promotions. So I feel like those are very effective. If there's a dancer like wearing a shirt or something or just something that can keep people's attention. No, I don't have a brand preference. I think um, if it was a brand I've never heard of, I'd probably like be more interested because I've never heard of it. And like if they're promoting it, it must be something that they really want to get out on the market. It's really smart because it brings like that product or that company that manages that product is aware that Asian Americans exist and have buying power and that they're targeting myself and people like me. Yeah, that's cool too because like if they're new to the industry and if they want to promote it, I think that's a good way to do it. It's like get it out to the club because I mean there's a lot of like, there's a big crowd and like it's easier to promote. It's more conscious than subconscious. If you see something in a billboard then, you know, something has to trigger it for you to really think about it. But if it's in your face, you know, you have a tangible item in front of you, 
it's hard to deny it. If you had sample products, that would help. Like if you were doing cigarettes or if you were doing the clothing, to have models out here, to have people like try it on and get, actually get to see the product. I think giveaways can definitely introduce people to brands and, um, you know, you can develop loyalty with, with customers. Because if someone approaches you, you know, person to person, and they have a certain product that they want to introduce it to you, and uh, they have a certain promotion item, then it's hard to, it's, it's hard to deny them. Girls liked all the like certificates or whatever it was, and boys, if it was like an alcohol promotion, boys liked that. Free cigarettes, free liquor, and if they got a free car, someone put me on the list. We'll work it all out. I guess it makes me feel like uh, we have a voice, we're important. Because I know with a lot of like uh, surveys and statistics, Asian Americans are actually kind of lumped in with the Caucasians because our buying habits are almost the same. So it's very nice to know that we're differentiated and uh, I guess we're a distinct group.